All right, before you ask, no, I did not make this because Sans got into Smash. Sans got into Smash while I was making the video. So just deal with it. Hey everyone, so it's time for me to explain how I made um, Rimbavania. And to be honest, I don't know how that happened. It kind of just appeared. <laughs> Let me explain. So the reason this kind of came into existence was like, I don't know, I think back during the summer, like back in July, I kind of heard the song a few times. I heard uh, Make Lavinia a few times and I thought, man, this song's actually, this song's actually really good. This song slaps. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna like arrange it. Like as a joke, <laughs> I was like, you know, I wonder if this is actually gonna work. And it did. It actually kind of worked. It was actually pretty good the way I did it. I was like, wow, I'm honestly pretty surprised. So I kind of worked on it and I worked on it some more, kind of fine tuned it a little bit. And then like, I just had a dumb Rimba quartet in MuseScore. I was like, I can't believe I did this. And I didn't think anything was gonna come of it. So in, I believe August, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna make this my next big project instead of the one I was originally going to do which was annoying because this is the one I've been wanting to do since January, and this is the one I was kind of like um, teasing in my last making of video. And you all know what that video is gonna be soon enough. I just don't know how soon because I'm crazy busy. Anyways, I finally like went to work on that, like I think later in like September, uh, I started practicing the parts like in my free time. And then I think I finally found a couple days in September to finally like record the thing. Now this was kind of annoying because I, I don't know why, just because I had not a lot of time in comparison to the summer, I was just trying to rush through things and I feel like the video isn't as good as it could have been, at least like from the music aspect. So I kind of just got through it. But the thing is, it took me a while to record this stuff this time. Like, I took one day to record the audio like I did last time, and it took me a while. I was up pretty late, like maybe like one or two in the morning trying to do this, just because I kept messing up like tiny little things, and like, for whatever reason, playing this was just really difficult. The instrumentation was a lot simpler than the last video I made, but just a lot of weird rhythms, a lot of weird just stuff that I wrote, or oh, not that I wrote, that I arranged, that I had to try to play, and I was just getting driven nuts because I just couldn't play it. But I just dealt with it, and I made it work, and somehow got all the audio recordings done, even though there's definitely some blips in the thing. Like, for example, you legit hear like a stick click at some point, and <laughs> it's like, I don't know why I actually let that in, but I kind of just didn't care, I kind of just sent it off. Oh, and now that I remember, I actually took an extra day to record the drum set part. So I literally just went, you know what, I'm gonna get a head start on this and just started <laughs> recording. And I just did like the audio and visual, just I did it all in one just so I could like not waste time. And this was a little annoying because I found out <laughs> how annoying to get your sounds just right when you're playing drum set. Because originally, like when I first started playing it, it sounded like this. So I started doing a little bit of experimenting, just less crashes, like more kick, less kick, just trying to see what would work and like how I could fix stuff in post. And what I ended up doing was just like underplaying all the symbol stuff. And if I didn't get the exact tone I wanted from the symbols, which definitely happened, um, I just ended up recording separately each symbol and just like a couple of fills, like for the drums, and just like kind of put that in. It was pretty interesting trying to experiment and see how I can just make the drums sound like a lot fuller and not sound like garbage, just trying to record all, everything in one go. This was kind of a big deal for me, but this was the first time that I used Adobe Audition, which is how I record all my audio. And I gotta say, it's it's pretty cool. Um, it was really hard to figure out how to use it at first, but once I did, I was like, okay, this is actually really, really helpful. This is really just, it's a lot easier to edit all the audio in comparison to how I did the first time, which I did through Premiere. It was really just all over the place and just not user friendly. And it was ooh, very frustrating. Now that I'm a little more familiar with Audition, I'm gonna be using that thing a lot more in the future. It's really, really helpful.
Now when it came to shooting everything, um, I don't think this took as long as the Zelda video, but it still took a pretty long time. I was just, I don't know what it was. I guess I was just not wanting to leave a whole lot of room for error, so I was being kind of stubborn and I was like, oh, I messed up this one tiny thing. I gotta start all over. So I was up for another few hours past midnight. Um, but I think it was kind of worth it because the video could have looked a lot worse and it kind of did. I'm not saying that it looked bad, but um, it could have looked better, but also could have worked worse. And again, there were some errors on my part just because I wasn't thinking and I was trying to get it done really fast. But um, there were actually uh, some funny times trying to record this dumb thing. Uh, here are the bloopers. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> Charlie. Finally, that's take the first part. Hot. I actually forgot. Really? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think this video was worth it because in the process of this, I broke a mallet. Like, this isn't good. I literally need this tomorrow. Ah, oh, great. This happens to me every semester, and it's just bad that this happened now. I wasn't even playing hard or anything. I just shook my mouth a little bit, and just, it went flying. <sighs> okay, that's, that's great. Well, I'm done. And that is a wrap. I can't believe I've lost my palette. The fact that Sans got in this match was like, the craziest thing since I'll work on this in the middle of that and because of that I was like you know what I gotta add a little bit just because like <laughs> this is kind of nuts so I added that last bit kind of last minute and I kind of glad I did because it was really funny uh, speaking of that bit um, I, I used the Canon Rebel to record that kind of last minute because I was using that camera for an, a project I was doing for my university and uh, I was like you know what might as well use it for this last thing Okay, so real quick, I kind of wanted to show how I did those last couple of shots. So I got a camera roll going on and no one else is here. So I'm in a practice room with a mirror. That's actually a little out of focus. I mean, uh, hello. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was kind of weird because I had to try to do a lot of focusing like while the camera was on the stand. And it was not easy, so <laughs> yeah, I, I did it. I was using like this back mirror, like I recorded it in this room. I was using that, that back mirror right there <laughs> to like see the viewfinder and it was really small so like trying to record myself was very difficult and it was very out of focus before I got to what you saw in the video. Now the music in this video is like, I don't know, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I, I tried my best but I think where I excelled was like the editing aspect because I thought you know, I gotta make this look maybe a little bit more appealing, so I just included like a, the the Sans 5 from Undertale. I don't know, this just gets me more excited to do stuff like this in the future because I can integrate more like video stuff with the music part, and I don't know, it can just look so amazing if I just do it right. So I'm glad I kind of just started doing that, but um, obviously the video wasn't perfect. Um, well, it's just another learning experience. Um, some things were better than the Soda video. Some things weren't as good as the Soda video. But um, I'm proud of it overall. And I hope you guys liked it because I think the video was really dumb. <laughs> I think the video was rushed. Uh, but memes. All right, well, that's all I got. So um, go ahead and leave a like. And go ahead and hit subscribe. You know what? Hit that bell. Like this. <laughs> I need to stop adding that joke in. It's so dumb. But for real. Um, this, there's some really good content actually starting to be on this channel, so go ahead and hit subscribe. It's going to be pretty sick, like, from this moment on. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.